Remember, we went from this to this and this. Now this. Please stay tuned. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. So in today's video, we'll be decorating our bedroom. We are finally getting around to finishing off the painting, hanging our drapes or curtains, and just finishing off our look. We still have to get some artwork so that's fine but i just want to jump in and show you how everything is looking so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it gives you some motivation and inspiration feel free to leave comments and questions in the comment area i'll leave links to anything i have access to in the description thanks for watching i hope you enjoy Since I already hung the curtains up and I need to paint this wall, I'm just going to pull the curtains out of the way and paint off camera. And here I have started my cleaning. I'm getting ready to move the dresser back into place, but I want it to clean behind here really good. So I'm going to dust it, sweep, mop, and all of that off camera. But I just wanted to let you all know this is some of the things you want to do when you have a chance to do it and if you're going to be moving furniture around and things like that you may as well go ahead and clean behind it when you have it pulled away from the wall okay so the room is clean and all of the furniture is in place so it's time to make the bed and do some decorating
right, so the first thing I'm going to do in the space is hang this mirror into my surprise. It had two hooks on the back of it. So I'm going to use my picture hanging technique to hang the mirror on the wall because I want it directly center of the bed. All right, so since I needed to clean the mirror above the headboard, I went ahead and cleaned this mirror again. I'm using the Sprayway glass cleaner. Just an FYI, I use the Method Daily Wood Cleaner in the Almond Scent on all of my wood surfaces in here, including the bed, anything that has wood on it. You just want to make sure you dust before you use it so you won't have any buildup. Right, so let's make the bed. I'm going to use this mattress protector on top of the mattress topper. And as you can see, I do have a thick mattress as well as a mattress topper. So we're going pretty plush and we're making this bed a little bit taller. I may come back later on uh, and take the mattress topper off because it is causing my comforter to be a little bit short on each side. So we're just going to put this waterproof mattress cover on top of the mattress. Okay, so these set of king sheets were gifted to me from Mulaney Home. I, sh I purchase these all the time from Amazon. I do have a link. I'll put it in the description. I also use one of the fitted sheets in the dark color gray on my box spring. I hate to see my box spring showing, so you won't see the box spring when you pull the sheets back when you get ready to lay down at night. So that's just a quick little tip to use a fitted sheet on your box spring. But for a king size bed, you can also use two twin extra longs. using the downy wrinkle releaser fabric spray on my sheets because I like the way it smells and it's also going to help remove the wrinkles right before I use my new Conair steamer. I decided to go ahead and purchase a new steamer. I got tired of the inexpensive one dripping or leaking water every time I use it. So this one has worked out really great. You'll see me use it. And as I continue using it, I found out there's a trick. So you kind of want to pull your fabric tight as you steam and it helps get the wrinkles out a lot faster. Just put the top sheet on the bed and now I'm going to steam it right before I tuck the sheet. Yeah. 
so let's layer the bed i'm going to start off with this duvet insert i'm not using it as an insert i'm using it as a blanket it's really thin and we like it because if one person is cold and one person is hot we can just sleep under the the blanket and not necessarily the quilt so now i'm putting the quilt on and i love this quilt because it is an oversized quilt it covers the entire mattress now in this case it hits right at the top of the mattress because i have really built my mattress up to make it a lot taller and plusher so of course on the sides it's hitting right at the top of the mattress or right at the bottom of the mattress before it's tucked on the sides pillow time usually what we do is put the pillows that we sleep on right behind our decorative pillows or the pillows that goes with our comforters and bed spreads and here are the pillows that goes to the bed spread and now let's go ahead and put our comforter on the bed in this case we'll be using a coverlet and then we'll use a insert the down comforter insert to put inside of this coverlet before you put your down comforter in that's how you know if you have a a coverlet or a bedspread, it has a button at the bottom. And you want to pay attention to the size of your down comforters because you definitely don't want to get a small down insert for a large or oversized coverlet. So this one was perfect. I think it was one inch or two inches larger. So it was perfect for this particular coverlet so you definitely want to look for either a button on the inside of the coverlet to attach your down comforter into or there's sometimes a string in my case there is a tie string in each corner and sometimes there's even a tie string in the center so you want to do that and this is has been the easiest way for me to do my down comforters just lay the the coverlet directly across the bed and fold it in half and match up your corners time together and button it up and it was just that simple And voila, here is the beautiful comforter. And here are the beautiful pillows that goes to the comforter. This set also has a throw and some more different size pillows in different colors that really blend really good with the coverlet set. So I'm just showing you how you can put the white on the top if you choose to, just to give your bedding a different look. And I'll share a picture of that later in the video. Right, so let's do a quick tour of the room here is the once again temporary finished look i finally got a chance to put my comforter set out it's really not a set it is a coverlet here is a picture of the room with the pillows flipped and the three pillows and then we'll go over that a little bit more so over here on my nightstand I was trying to do symmetry but i don't have any flowers to go on my husband's side but i just have a picture frame a tray of course my good girl perfume 
our lamp I got from Home Goods, and of course those roses was gifted to me from Rose Forever. I do have a coupon code in the description. I put it in the description for $15 off. They sponsored my last video. And over here, this mirror, I got it from Home Goods. I've had it for a while. It was $250. I've seen it in some of the higher end stores for like $500. So I got a really good deal there. Now, I already put the bed together. You saw the video of that right before this. And my bed spread, the dark gray one, it came from Overstock. This one is made by On Cloud 9, or is it On Cloud? Cloud 9 Design. So it's made by Cloud9 Cloud Nine Design. You can buy it directly from them or from High Fashion Home. The pillows and the coverlet was pricey. And with the coverlet, you do have to have your down insert. So that's what you saw me doing. And that mirror, I purchased two of them. I need one more if I plan to do three across the bed. But for now, I do like the look of just the one. Even without pictures on the wall, I like the look of it. So this bed, I get a lot of questions. It is discontinued. I have a lot of people who ask me in the comments and I have stated it in the video that the bed is discontinued by the manufacturer. It's called the Hansen, H-A-N-S-E-N, and it's been discontinued for a while. I love this bed. We've had it forever. To me, it's timeless. So it just depends on your personal style. These nightstands, they came from Haverty's. I do plan to change them. I may even just change the knobs for now and I'll share that in my final uh, my final winter walkthrough. So on his nightstand, we just have a small picture frame with a picture of us in it, a tray, his uh, bad boy cologne made by the same one as um, Good Girl, and um, this lamp as well. So that lamp, I really love it. The thing about it is it's a wide lamp. So when you use wide lamps, you can't use things like this on it because of the height, those two uh, vases did not work on the nightstand. I feel like they're perfect over here anyway. So over here, the curtains, I got them from Home Goods. I shared them in my last haul. Those lucite or acrylic curtain rods, I got them from Ballard Designs. You saw me hanging them up in the beginning of the video. They were pretty expensive. My wall length is 101 inches. I went six inches down. I forgot I wasn't going to use the ring clip. So originally I went all the way up to the ceiling. And when I hung them up, I realized that I'm not using the ring clip. So I brought them down six inches. Same thing over here, six inches. Over here, these chairs are made by Uttermost. They are discontinued as well. The pillows came from Home Goods, I believe. I've had them forever. And I put them in here because I do have a black velvet ottoman that'll go perfect right here and just a reminder this is like a velvet feel so it's really pretty in person i do need to steam it but i'm just going to let that stay like that for now and i also need to steam these curtains so once again these chairs had them for about two or three years now and they are discontinued i just picked up this bar cart yesterday from home goods i've been looking for one well i knew i needed one i wanted one without the handle so this one is perfect and of course, I already had the vases, the Thompson Ferrier candle. And down here on the bottom, I just have a bottle of liquor, two cocktail, well, two champagne flutes. All right. So over here, same thing with the curtains. And I wanted to share, I wanted to share these, this art with you all. It goes really well with, and I'll show you, with my comforter. And it's like a charcoal gray. I want two of them. They're meant to be hung the wide way. So I put two on this wall. I did see another one at another store after I decided to get it. And here is the other mirror. I, I need to hang it. If I don't use it in here, I'm going to use it in the bathroom or toilet area. And I hate putting the wall plate covers back on, but I will be putting that back on. I still got to do some paint on the trim and all of that. So I'm just going to put this back over here because this is something that I plan to share in my winter tour of the space, the entire room. And I'll be taking you all into the rest of the house for my winter tour. So here is the final look of the room. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Please stay to the end for some more pictures of the space. Have a great day.
here's a picture with the dark color part of the pillow on top. And here's a picture with the light color part of the pillow on top. I really do like the light color part on top. Which part do you like on top? Leave a comment in the, in the comment area and let me know which one do you prefer. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to share with you all our New Year's Eve dinner. Remember, I shared with you all in my bedroom reveal that I was going to prepare this for our New Year's Eve dinner, and it was absolutely delicious. And here's my husband's happy plate. Yes, he stopped all of the juices up. <laughs> 